Today we're going to have a go at making a bug that can stand on water like this one. The reason it can stand on the surface of the water is due to something called surface tension, which forms a skin on the water's surface. Right, to get started on our water strider, or our pond skater, we're going to use a thin piece of card. We first fold the card in half. Like so. We're then going to fold about three centimetres up on each side. Right, if we unfold these two sections, we can draw our bug on. When we draw our bug, we want to make sure a piece at the top stays connected. This keeps our two halves together. And on the bottom, we're going to put our feet. So this section is going to be for the feet, and the top is going to be for the head, the shell, and the legs. So if we draw our little bug on there, When we draw the feet, we want to make them nice and big. Like I say, this will help him stand on top of the water. Right, there's our basic bug shape, so if we cut him out, we can then be able to see whether or not he floats. Here's our bug all cut out. We quickly give him some eyes and a shell. That on both sides. Now we can go and see if he floats. So to get him to float we need to fold the feet out so they sit flat on the ground. You can actually, before putting him in water, just stand him up. Right, let's see if our bug floats. There's our floating water bug. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on the thumbs up icon below and give us a like. And if you'd like to see more things to make and create, click on the subscribe button in the corner of the screen or on the red subscribe button below and check out our channel.